Hello everyone, welcome back to some more threats. And this is titled Father of Michigan School Shooter Found Guilty of Involuntary Manslaughter. The father of a school shooter that we did not even know about in Michigan had been found guilty of involuntary manslaughter in a case that created headlines across the United States for seeking to find a parent criminally responsible for the actions of their child. James Cromley, 47, is the father of Ethan Cromley, a 15-year-old boy who took a gun from home and killed four students at Oxford High School on 30th November 2021. Yeah, I think I did have a vision or dream about this like last night or another day. In February, Ethan's mother, Jennifer Cromley, was found guilty of involuntary manslaughter, raising the prospects that parents of future school shooters would also face trial in American courts. The Crumleys are the first U.S. parents to be prosecuted in such a way. During the five-day trial for James Crumley, prosecutors showed that the gun, a newly acquired CSI 9mm, was not safely secured at the Crumley home. Although Michigan did not have a storage law at that time, James Crumley had a legal duty to protect others from possible harm by his son, prosecutor argued. James Crumley is not on trial for what his son did, prosecutor Karen McDonald told the jury. James Crumley is on trial for what he did and for what he didn't do. He doesn't get a pass because somebody else actually pulled the trigger, she said. See, they were be telling y'all, like, you got your gun. I'm, I'm not I'm not saying enough for these motherfuckers. I, would, I feel like they not, you know, it's just a threat. But I, to be honest, look it. I know a lot of guys that had guns and they bitches grab their guns just to keep, just to shoot me. And them guys got in trouble, not the shooter. Like, literally, them men are mad. Like, they are whole feeling now. Them dudes are mad. I like, remember, remember back in the day, like a couple of months ago, bitches kept coming in my house and shooting me in my head and shit, thinking it's a game, it's funny, I'm gonna come back. Yeah, they did it with they boyfriend, baby daddy, guns and shit, like real shit, yeah. And them dudes, they in trouble. I ain't, I, I'm not taking, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not going, I don't care, I don't care who they eat in the streets. I'm not fin to y'all fin do y'all time, okay? Period. He doesn't like my daughter is. He doesn't which it wasn't my well, she didn't lose my shit. Okay, thank you. He doesn't get a pass because somebody else actually pulled a frigger, she said. Ethan's mental state was slipping on the day of the shooting. He made a macro breed drawing of a gun and a wounded man on a mouth assignment and added The thoughts won't stop. Help me. Blood everywhere. The world is dead. But the Crumleys declined to take Ethan home after a brief meeting at his school, accepting only a list of mental health providers and they returned to work. They did not tell school staff that a handgun similar to one in the drawing had been brought by James Crumley just four days earlier. Ethan pulled the gun from his backpack a few hours later and began shooting. No one had shed the bad bag. The Oxford victims were Justin Schilling, 17, Madison Baldwin, 17, Hannah St. Julian, 14, and Tate Myrie, 16. Okay, first of all, so she's trying to be funny. He shot y'all kids, okay? So some of you motherfuckers, that kids gone and missing and shit from the schoolhouse. It was y'all kids. Hi. So, come at me again. I don't got nothing to do with it. The Oxford victims, okay, I just said that. Tate Myrie, 16. The verdicts won each of the four victims were read out about 7.15 local time at the end of a full day of deliberations. James Crumley listened to the outcome through headphones worn throughout the trial because of a hearing problem. He shook his head from side to side at the jury form and said guilty. Family members of some of the students who died wept quietly and gripped each other's hands in the second row of the courtroom gallery. I know this verdict would not bring them back, said McDonald, the prosecutor, but I hope it will serve as an example of the importance of holding those who enable gun violence accountable. James and Jennifer Cromley are the first U.S. parents to be charged with having responsibility for a mass school shooting by a child. Early in November 2021, Ethan wrote in his journal that he needed help for his mental health, but my parents didn't listen to me, so I can't get any help. Defense attorney has said James Cromley did not know Ethan knew where to find the gun at home and that school officials seemed more concerned about him harming himself, not others. Ethan Cromley, now 17, is serving a life sentence for murder and terrorism. 
okay? I would, I would find to people like, look here, y'all hit me. Y'all finna become a terrorist, a terrorist, okay? And just because I'm on a terrorist list, don't mean shit. I'm on a terrorist list because of them. Like, I'm a terrorist to them. So that means you shoot me, that means you part of them and not part of my organization. You know, that makes sense, right? Anyway, this what, this what it means, okay? So enjoy.